Good morning guys, welcome back. Today I would like to talk about another subject and that's drinking on the trail. And not drinking on the trail for us, but drinking on the trail for our doggies. Because some dogs really struggle with drinking water and keeping them hydrated on the trail is so important. So therefore I decided to make a video about that because I know how hard that struggle can be. First of all, of course, a little disclaimer as always, these products are not being sponsored. I bought them for my own money. So just for YouTube to know. Ravi was also a dog in the beginning who absolutely refused to drink on the trail. Although I kept offering him water on each break that we took, every stop we made, he just wouldn't drink. And it doesn't really matter when you're doing just a short hike for an hour or two hours, then it isn't such a big problem. But when you're out on the trail with your dog for several days, weeks, or maybe even months, at the end that will turn out into a big problem. So I've been going... Uh, out on a search for what I could offer Ravi as an alternative and by the time he really learned to drink. By now he drinks fine on the trail, I always offer him water and 9 out of 10 times he drinks as well, as well and what he also likes to do is drink out of puddles but be aware of that because always check how a puddle looks like. If I can't see through the water, when the water is not clear, it's messy, it has a sort of film layer, oily film layer on top of it, I'm not letting him drink. When the water is absolutely clear, I know that it has been raining, for example, that night, then I will let him. But otherwise, I will offer him something to drink on the trail all the time. And by now he drinks water, like I said, but there are also some alternatives. And sometimes I take those alternatives as well, because in the meantime, he is going to see it as a treat. He's laying here beside me. And therefore, I would like to give you some options as well. So when you have a dog that struggles with drinking on the trail, stay tuned because maybe this video could be interesting to you. And as you can see here in front of me, there are several things that you can offer your dog. And I would like to start with those three bottles. They are from the same brand. They are from the brand of Smoothie Dog and they come in several flavors. So there's always a flavor to find for your dog, even when he or she is struggling with allergies or being sensitive to some ingredients. There are a lot of flavors in these and I will show you a little bit closer. This one, for example, is a hypoallergenic. It's a sensitive one. It's based on horse meat and there's only horse in this one. And um, what's also in here is uh, a little bit of vegetables. So it has um, uh, meat and uh, stock made out of horse meat. And then it's combined with water, uh, parsnip and zucchini. So it's really natural. There are no additives in these kind of things. And that's what I really like about them. And so, yeah, th that's good to have with you. And this one is, for example, there for sensitive dogs. This one is just a monoprotein, which is based on lamb. And that has in it uh, bouillon made of water and lamb meat, courgette, zucchini, carrots, potatoes, apples, chia seeds, spirulina, dandelion, basil and parsley. So again, no additives. No additives are added to either of these flavors. So that's always a good one to give. So these single one, single protein flavors are really great to give your dog when he or she is struggling with allergies. But you've also got some mixes and um, this is a little bit more of a mix. It's called Trinkpause in German, which is called drink, drink Break. And it is really nice to have on the trail. This one includes, um, let's see, meat, stock, duck, courgette, um, pumpkin, carrots, Pears, blackberries, linseeds, and timian, thyme, thyme, <laughs> it's thyme. I have to translate it because on the bottles it's on German and then I have to translate it in my mind to, um, to Dutch and then I have to transfer it in English as well. Thank you, Ravi. <laughs> Always curious, that little man, huh? <laughs> he knows what's in these because he really likes them. And they're really good to take on a trail. So drink break, I often give these in breaks when we are having a lunch break. But one problem is, you might hear it, these things are made of glass. And I think that's really a downside because glass obviously in your backpack is not very convenient. It's heavy, it has a risk of breaking. So that's a little bit of a downside of this brand. I think they can really improve that package because you can give these ones obviously at home as well. But like this one, it's designed for on the go. So then I would say, 
put it in a plastic bag or a plastic bottle or anything that's so much easier to take out on the trail but it is just in a glass bottle so there's nothing to change about that but what you can change about that is getting an alternative package by yourself for example i just got this little bottle on aliexpress and i can give them a portion first or if i take the full one i just fill this one up put this one in my backpack this is a little plastic bag so no risk of breaking and not as heavy or what i also got is a pouch of this one it's also uh, it's actually a one for baby food but you can really fill it up with those drinks as well and then you are safe to go on the go and you have no dangers on the trail of breaking glass and of course it makes a lot of difference in the weight what also comes with this brand of smoothie dog is a doggy roller and that's nice as well because then you can use it on the trail for training because that's a little roller and you just fill it up with the smoothie and then this one rolls around and then you can dog your dog can lick on it so whether you're using it for a training or just on the go this one is really handy as well it comes separately with a carabiner so you can clip it onto your pack as well so these are some really handy alternatives that you can use in case you have a smoothie or any kind of drink that comes with a glass bottle what also comes with a glass bottle is this one but this obviously is way too big to take with you and this is by the brand of Lila Loves It and it is a bone broth so a bone broth is really uh, healthy for a dog as well so you're not only rehydrating your dog but you're also yeah adding something to his or her health and that's really nice as well because of course obviously most of us want the best for their dog so when you can give something good to them that's absolutely great as well this one has no additives either it only has water uh, beef bone carrots uh, apple vinegar a little bit of salt parsley uh, fennel uh, ingwer that is ginger <laughs> and that's it so no additives either and this is a big one a big uh, pot but what you can easily do with this is make them in smaller portions and put them into your freezer and whenever you're out on the go for the trail just take a portion out and take it with you and then you've got something healthy and very delicious for your dog on hand as well what is way more easier to take is this doggy raid and this comes in a soft flask a soft bottle and what's nice to this one is that it is not only for rehydration or hydration on the trail but this one has also probiotics and uh, electrolytes added to it so when it's a little bit hotter out on the trail then this one is a great one to give as well you do not have to transfer into anything smaller or at least you, if you would like to take the whole bag of course when you got a small dog you would like to take a smaller portion feel free to add it over to a little bottle like this but this is really nice as well because yeah easy to take very durable are these packages i don't know if you can get them all around the world but it's a sort of package like capri sun the drink for little children and those packages are so sturdy as well you can stand up it with your whole weight and nothing will happen so this one is very good to take as well what you can also do as a last tip is for example when your dog really is into fish or anything then you can have a salmon package like this this is just salmon pate so nothing else just 100 percent salmon and what you can do as well is mix this with a lot of water so you want to get some tr some taste and you will add the good omegas and everything to your dog as well so that is okay you see me <laughs> um that is a great one as well um when you just would like to feed water and not something like this this of course is really handy to take with you really small package so yeah that's really great as well <laughs> Gaffy things what's on here look here he is <laughs> he's always with me because he's of course curious know that these things are going with us on the trail and you can see that makes him excited and then he thinks we're going off but unfortunately today we are not but that doesn't matter i will give him some of the um, smoothies as well in a few minutes so you can see how he reacts to it so these are just some ideas that you can give your dog as an alternative to water if he or she is not really into drinking on the trail struggling with drinking on the trail or whether you would like to give your dog a nice treat on the trail 
So I hope that this video was helpful to you. It was a short one this time, but I don't think the videos have to be long all the time, as long as they include the correct information. If you would like anything more about these products, please let me know in the comment box below. Like I mentioned before, these products are not being sponsored. I bought them for my own money just because I like using them. And I think really adds something to Ravi's experience on the trail. So yeah, just things we would like to use. And if there's anything more that I can do for you in regards to this subject, please let me know as well. And then, as always, thank you for being part of this video. Enjoy the outdoors. We will catch you on the next trail. Goodbye.